starts off with this dude named Neo sitting in a bar watching basketball. He's talking to the bartender and he says he's got a lot of money riding on this game. He's addicted to gambling or something real bad. He owes a bunch of people money. He doesn't seem to really give a fuck though. You didn't bet the barber with my money, did you, O'Neal? You're not that stupid. Shut up, though. I push, I'm even. Flagrant foul, he shoots that first. Oh, fuck! He loses all his bets and he tries to run without paying. They of course catch his stupid drunk ass, but luckily he's got a plan for this situation. You wanna kick my ass? No one can kick my ass better than I can. Nice Neo wakes up in jail and his rat face ass homeboy comes to bail him out. Then he goes home and a bunch of goons show up soon after to collect some more money from him. Look, tell the bar you bet six grand on your dead father's account and I need some money right now. I'll give you everything I got. $47. $40? Pay me grand a week until I say stop. You don't want me to come back here. The next day he goes downtown to visit his other homeboy. Dracula face ass. He's like a rich business dude or whatever and Keanu Reeves asks him to borrow $12,000. What the fuck? That's hella money, bro. Can you lend me 12 grand? This just might help you. You're going to coach a kid's baseball team with me. I'm going to pay you $500 a week. It's right behind that Baptist church where you used to buy reefer. The only thing behind that church is those shitty housing projects. Dracula gives Keanu Reeves a job coaching a baseball team in the projects. Now that's what the movie is. Keanu Reeves coaching baseball in the projects. Like that's a thing. Like niggas in the projects just playing baseball and shit all day. Nah, I'm sure some project niggas like baseball. That's not fair. I never seen that shit in my life though. I'm just saying. That should take hella equipment, bro. Here's my extra inhaler. And here's my sugar berries for when my brother needs sugar. That gentleman behind you is Coach Connor. That bum guy's our coach? Get him. Oh. We meet all the kids on the baseball team. They all a ragtag team of baseball team. Baseball hood movie, white savior hood movie. So you got this kid Andre, he's like the main kid. He hella annoying, I hate him. Andre, Ray, Pete. Sup my brother? <laughs> what position do you play? Big Willie. <laughs> Then you got Jefferson Albert Tibbs. He's a real nice kid. He's always nice to all his teammates and everybody he meets. I hate him too. What's your name? Jefferson Albert Tibbs. Mom says I can play anywhere. My ass man. Michael B. Jordan is on the team also. He don't really do shit. He an all-star though. Also, there's these other kids on the team. Headphones, yo. These niggas, they don't get any lines at all. Whatever, man. Forget it. I'm not introducing all these damn kids. Hi. Matt Hyland, head of the coaches committee. You the Cucumbers? Yeah, bitch. We the Cucumbers. So what's up? We had to cancel games because we'd show up and another team would have five kids. If you can't feel the nine-man team, why don't you and the Cucumbers go home? Keanu Reeves needs to find two more players or else they can't be in the league. The kids tell them that their friends Ray Ray and Kofi want to play, but their mean old teacher won't let them. She told their moms that they couldn't play ball until they do these book reports. I can tell you anyway though. Kofi ain't doing shit. Ray Ray neither. He goes to talk to the teacher at the Catholic school all the boys go to. Her name is Miss Wilkes or Sister Wilkes. Keanu Reeves likes her or something and he's trying to holler at her. It looks like it's working too. This nigga looks like a fucking whole junkie though. Why is this I'm working? Sorry, I was just expecting a older woman. No, I'm not a nun. Thank God. <sighs> but I'm willing to get together with you and help the boys out. Why don't we exchange numbers? I have a better idea. Sister Wilkes says that the boys can play if Neo promises to help with their homework. It's like a book report or whatever they gotta do for their Catholic school. Why the fuck do they go to Catholic school? What is this Catholic school in the middle of the hood? These niggas playing baseball and shit? This was definitely written by a white dude, 100%. This one's Kofi. This is my youngest, Jarius. Everybody call me G-Baby, hey. so. Hey. Oh, no, no, like this, like this. Coach Connor, we could have 5.30. Keep practicing. I'm waiting for somebody. Keanu Reeves makes all the boys stay too late one day while he's waiting for Ratface Yo. Jefferson Albert Tibbs runs up and asks if he can walk with Neo because it's getting dark. Can I walk with you? No, um, I'm not going that way. Sorry. Stupid bitch! Oh, what up, man? Hi. 
What's up, shorty man? Look at that piece, man. Some bullies run up on Jefferson Albert Tibbs and they end up sliding his fat baseball playing ass all in front of everybody. It's pretty sad. Sad baseball movie. You shouldn't have stopped for pizza if you were so concerned about it getting dark. Where'd you get this pizza from? Neo shows up at the hospital to check on him. The mom is in there and she's mad that he kept the boys so late after practice. What did you expect, lady? Why y'all leaving your kids with this random junkie? Look at this nigga. This nigga's sketchy as fuck. No way. A fool, I called you at Smith and Stevens Security and at first some little girl didn't even know who you were. That smell? That might be a lawsuit. Keanu Reeves promises to be a better coach or something. He started taking it seriously now, now that he got in trouble. They practicing some more and they still all rambunctious and whatnot. Keanu Reeves don't know what to do. He a white person. That's pretty much the move. Andre say he catch any apple ball, anybody can throw. Coffee say that's bullshit. You a buster. Andre say roll up, bitch. Okay, it's been no small change. Now show me. Nice catch, Andre. No small change. Now show me. Kofi just jumped out of the way like a baby. New rule. No one can say anything bad to anyone else on the field. He jumped out of the way like a baby? I don't think a baby could really dodge a baseball, my nigga. I get what you're saying, though. Also, I like how he's just like, you shouldn't say bad things. And everybody's just like, oh, yeah, I ain't never thought of that like that. Nobody ever told us that. What is this fucking movie, bro? I got to see who wrote this movie. The screenplay was written by a dude named John Gattins. It's based on a book by Daniel Coyle. And it was directed by this dude, Brian Roberts. And that's it. No black people. I ain't even mad at you either, because I already knew that. I spun around and hit the biggest one. I punched him in the gut. And as he was falling, he grabbed my backpack. And that was where I got my fat lip. Done. So where'd you get your fat butt? <laughs> Andre. Nigga, pause, bro. That's what I'm saying about this writing, man. Niggas would never say no shit like that. That's definitely not how we roast each other, bro. You would get roasted yourself for saying some sus-ass shit like this. You talking about how fat his ass is? I'm done complaining about it now. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Show pants down your shoes so they can party. <laughs> Everyone, this is Mr. O'Neill. That's really the only roast y'all got for this nigga? Y'all let him off super easy, bro. This shit should have caused an uproar, my nigga. Look at these high waters. Everybody would have been going in on him, I promise you. That shit would have been crazy. Look at this goofy ass motherfucker. This nigga look like a giant puppet. You look like Forrest Gump father. You look like a Korean preschool child. These kids should have lit him up, bro. They doing more baseball now. There's this whack-ass little Bow Wow song playing, of course. It's an early 2000s movie with black children in it. Were they not gonna have a little Bow Wow song and Jermaine Dupri? No way, Sammy Saint took me. Come on, come to me. They're pretty garbage and they lose super badly, of course. They a ragtag, whatever. Sports movie, K Combas. What the fuck is a K Combas, bro? Is that the name of their team? That should sound like some whack ass shoes. Like some Payless dad shoes. Fun fact, it's like an African tribe or something. I looked it up. All the teams named after African different tribes. That's kind of cool, actually. I could see that being a thing, sure. Yeah, bitch, we the Combas. If I get a home run ass game, you gotta buy me pieces again, man. Coach, is there any chance that we get trophies this year? Yeah, gotta win more games than we lose. We going to the ship, huh? We going to the ship, huh? Keanu Reeves drives all the K-Cumbas home after pizza. Apparently the company or the school loaned him the station wagon. They were concerned about all the boys and didn't want them getting folded like Jefferson Albert Tibbs dumbass. It's crazy they don't already have transportation though, right? That's how it really be. Also, why would anybody rob this nigga? What could you possibly get from him? Lil Debbie's? <laughs> House. All right, Andre. I don't just want to see my house. Everyone's sitting on the floor. 
Stay below the window. Bullets. We need to do it around here for fun. Play baseball with you. He's doing more romance stuff with the teacher now. Also, he's doing more gambling stuff. He's still dodging all the random goons and trying to figure out his money situation. He gets this genius idea to just bet more money and hope it goes well. He goes and places a giant bet with this dude, Hector Salamanca, who I guess he's just Italian now. I want to make a big bet. How big? 12 grand. You're at count 27 when you call in. And your handle is? Cucumbers. What? So, I know you don't work at Smith & Stevens. What's that mean? Just don't look like someone that works at Smith & Stevens. You look like a freaking boring school teacher. <laughs> it's baseball time again. The Kekumba's getting really good and they start destroying all the other teams. Then one of the other coaches comes and says Michael B. Jordan got a fake birth certificate or some shit. This birth certificate's been altered. What? What's the point of the league, coach? teach kids it's okay to lie as long as they can get away with it listen they know that you changed your birth certificate i can't let you play well my mom said it was okay <laughs> Look, why don't you just sit on the floor? Jamal! the other coach is being real lame and now they make headphones yo take off his headphones they start being trash again so keanu reeves quits no it's not like that he does quit though this is my last game what, what? i quit Play by Kelvin. He's come, got on, his come on come on come on here we go <laughs> He's a 30 footer! <laughs> Kekumbas Reeves wins his big bet and now he's on top of the world. When you call me big pop, but throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. What next, huh? I don't know. <laughs> you gonna coach baseball for black kids? Talk down to me! You don't know shit about those kids. Keanu Reeves goes back to the field and all the kids start shitting on him. He fires back with this fake ass temper tantrum. Then he decides to take the boys to a real baseball game with his gambling money instead of betting it all again. So we a better team without you anyway. Ha! 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 You guys will never be a team until you see it played right. Game starts in an hour. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, no, wait, 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 my partner's here. Wait, this is against everything that's right. Keanu Reeves turns his life around. He starts coaching the Cucumbers again, and he buys them brand new uniforms and shit. They start demolishing all the other teams now. Why are they so good at baseball? He's barely coaching them. His headphones yo turn to pitch, but he can't concentrate. The whole crowd roasting him and calling him Sally and shit. Hey bro, y'all definitely not singing this right. They keep singing it like this. I get it though. The actual chorus has the N word in it. So please don't do that, Keanu Reeves. No, you can just sing the censored version. There's a censored version where he explicitly changes the word niggas to fellas. That's not an excuse then. Why are you singing it wrong? You're a terrible white savior, bro. You're not even learning that much. Thanks for the uniform, coach. Hey kid, you can't come in there right now. Jamal, what's up? What? What? Shit, come on! Gee, we're okay. Come on, G. Come on. G baby dies, and goddamn, bro. Why y'all do that, bro? That's some sad shit, man. I don't like it. Who even shot him, bro? That nigga aim is garbage. They were so far away. That's insane. Please, Mr. O'Neill. Come on up. We played a really important game against a good team. I had no choice but to let Jarius bat. You can swing if you want. He hit a shot down the first baseline. 
He lifted the world in that moment. They played baseball and they sat now. They sat at the championship. I think this is the championship. Yeah, it is. They won the whole shit. This shit about to make me cry, man. Let's wrap it up, please. Then I felt the strong wind. It all ends nicely with the boys holding their trophies and this poorly aged R. Kelly song playing. It's super inspirational. R. Kelly in prison though. That takes away from the moment a little bit. <laughs> you know, a lot of this dialogue feels super off. It feels fake. I can definitely feel all the whiteness throughout the whole movie, bro. The kids did a good job regardless. Shout out to the kid actors in this. I feel like maybe the writer did work at a school or a summer camp or something. Some of this shit is a little accurate. Most of it is just surface level hood movie shit. It's like baby's first hood movie. If you're a non-hood movie person and you're trying to get into hood movies, this is an okay one to start with. If you're actually from the hood, you probably roll your eyes a few times. But the kids are charming enough. The story is decent. There's some enjoyment to be had. That's it though. Thank you for watching. Pooty Tank Review is up next. It's about a superhero in the hood. He getting hella holes and everything. Don't miss it. Shout out to my Patreon homies. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to the OG subscribers. And shout out to me, bro. I didn't do shit, but you gotta shout yourself out sometimes. I love you, no pause. The video. Now I'm about to test your peas,